Hey beauties, it's Nikea here. So I'm going to show you all how I'm going to pack for Mexico. So I don't leave for like two weeks, but I wanted to see if I could fit everything in the bags that I had because I only want to do carry-ons because this is my first trip out of the country and I'm a little bit paranoid about my bags getting lost. So I'd rather just carry my things on rather than checking a bag. Or if I was checking a bag, or if I have to check my bag, I'd rather just check it on the way back home. So that way if it gets lost, I can still go home and I'll still have things here <laughs> that are mine. That's just my thinking. So I'm going to show you all how I'm packing my carry-on and my one personal bag to take on the plane with me. If you look at my bed, I know it looks a crazy hot mess. But trust me, it's all going to fit. I'm going to make it work. And this is a great video to watch, especially if you're an overpacker like me. Like you pack for all contingencies, just maybe possibly what might could maybe happen. <laughs> so you wanna see how I make all this stuff fit, how I pack it, then just keep watching. All right, so this is the carry-on that I'm going to be taking. Nothing fancy, I got this in a set on Black Friday one year, but it is carry-on size. I've used it for carry-on before. And I just have my little luggage tag representing Delta Sigma Theta. Ooh. Now I'm going to move on to my clothes. So I'll just show you all, I have a lot of outfits. Yeah. But I just want to bring options so I don't know exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to start off with all these one piece options that I have. So my dresses, jumpers, and such. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm just going to roll them up nice and tight and put them in the suitcase. All right, this lovely, this lovely piece is actually gonna be very easy to follow because it's like a square rectangle-ish. So I'm just gonna take it and fold that in half, just matching up the sides. Oh. <laughs> so now we have like a square. Here we go. Now we have a square. So then I can fold it again and fold it one more time and then I'm going to roll it up. Just like that, keep it nice and compact. All right, so these are all my one piece items. So I'm just going to take those and lay them in my suitcase and just pack them as tightly as I can. Now that we got the bulkier pieces out of the way, I'm gonna go to my swimsuits. All right, so with my swimsuits, what I'm gonna do is just lay them all one on top of the other. Five one-piece swimsuits. And all I'm gonna do is just fold those in half. Then I have some shirts. So I'm laying these on top of each other. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold these together. Okay, so there's the shirts. Not gonna put those in yet because I do have some bigger pieces over here. So I have my snap side pants and I plan on wearing this crop top with it. So since this crop top is so small and doesn't take up a lot of space, I'm just going to fold it in half and fold it with the pants. So these pants are really wide leg, so I'm kind of folding them in on both sides. And then I'm just going to roll up the top with it. 
And I'm gonna put that in the suitcase. I'm actually gonna put this underneath the swimsuit. Okay, then I can stick my shirts in here. Then I have this two-piece matching outfit that I got from Fashion Nova. I'm gonna pack that as well. And that can be rolled up together. So the top is a crop top. So it doesn't take up a lot of space once again. But since it's an outfit, I'm gonna roll up these two pieces together. And stick that underneath the bathing suits as well. So we're still packing. Um, I know we're gonna be in Mexico, it's gonna be warm, but I did wanna bring a pair of jeans. These are some ripped boyfriend jeans. Some sleep and loungewear. So I have a pair of leggings, a t-shirt, All right, I have my three pair of shorts. Oh, forgot one. So these are another pair of shorts I'm bringing just as a cover up for the pool. So I'm just folding those in half. And I'm gonna stick those on top. And a true piece spray them too, because why not? All right, then my shoes. So all my shoes are sandals and they're pretty flat. So it's not gonna be a problem to lay these on top. And then I am gonna bring one pair of heels. Yeah. What happened? I'm trying to close my suitcase. So I'm pushing down on my suitcase because it's a little bulky at the top from the heels. All right, so it's a little bulky up here because of the shoes, but it closes just fine. So it's a little bulky from the wedges. So then I have this top part here. Take my underwear. So I have them all stacked up here, which this is like probably two pair for each day. Yeah, so I have 16 pair of underwear. A few pair of socks. And I'm just gonna slide those in there. All right, so my carry-on is packed. This is to put in the overhead bin. But I did take a couple things out because Hi. I did like practice packing before and I didn't have these things in here. So these are extra items. So I'm gonna keep them to the side and maybe I can fit them inside my personal bag. All right, for my personal bag, I got this book bag from Ross. So it has this little front compartment. I think it has a side compartment. And then on the inside, it has like this little separate piece. All right, so in here, I am going to put my laptop and I'm gonna stick it in this little back compartment here. That's why I can do some editing and whatnot while I'm on the trip or on the plane probably. Charger. My external hard drive. I'm also gonna pack my camera in here in this little camera bag. So I'll have my camera, my extra um, batteries, and my chargers. Uh, then I have my toiletry liquids bag. So here's my liquids. So I'm not bringing a lot of toiletries because I figure whatever I need, if I need anything else, I can buy it while I'm there. Um, but in here, I have my toothpaste, my makeup setting spray, sunscreen, face moisturizer, um, some Thayer's Witch Hazel. So it came in this bottle, but it was a little bulky. So I transferred it into this bottle that I got in a travel kit from Target. So it came in this bag from Target with all the little containers. But, of course, it's a cheap little quart size bag, so the little zipper thing ripped. Whatever. Um, then I have some leave-in conditioner spray, travel size from Carol's Daughter. And then I have some apple cider vinegar root rinse and root relief. So I'm gonna have a protective style on my hair, and I wanna be able to take care of my hair while I'm out the country. So I decided I wanted to try these. So these are my first time, this is my first time trying it, but it has apple cider vinegar, tea tree oil, 
and this one has apple cider vinegar and peppermint so you know when i'm in the pool when i'm sweating i can come back to the hotel and just treat my hair and still take care of it while it's in the protective style then i also have these two shea butter containers this is what i use to moisturize my skin it doesn't exactly fit in the bag but i'm gonna make it fit when i get to the airport <laughs> so for easy access i'm just going to put that in the front and there's ooh, i just noticed that there's other compartments in the front here like a little wallet so i'm just gonna stick that in there easy access so when i get to the checking area all right also in here is going to go my makeup so most of my makeup is in here so i have a bb cream primer um my it's my ray ray palette and all the brushes that i want to use and i do think i put some lipstick in here yeah some lipstick my setting powder so everything is in here i have this toiletry pouch here that i got from mary Kay. it has this little hanger here and it's a roll up and all these compartments come off so in this first one um, I just have some toiletry items cotton balls I got some makeup wipes and I have this this is so convenient this is a little cleansing sponge and I got it in um, my face box from Miss Vaughn and it's good it says for up to 14 plus uses so I don't have to bring shower gel or a little shower sponge I just use this and I wash my body with it but it'd be so smart to travel with and I hadn't used it yet thank God so thanks Miss Vaughn all right in the second pouch I have in the second pouch I just have my jewelry which is mostly earrings and then I'm also bringing some extra nose rings just in case mine decides to fall out you never know then in this pouch some more toiletry items I have a bar of soap my toothbrush and my deodorant um this deodorant looks big but it is an appropriate travel size the only reason i don't have a small one is because they don't make the deodorant that i use in travel size and then in this bottom one i just have some other cosmetic stuff and i've used this before with my cosmetics so that's why it's a little makeup on the inside but i have some lip glosses my setting powder chapstick my beauty sponge and a sharpener and a brow pencil so it's just everything that didn't fit in that other pouch that you all saw so it rolls up like this but i'm looking at it i'm like oh no it's not gonna fit in my book bag <laughs> oh yeah it's like pushing it to the limit oh that's fine i'm gonna make it work then i'm also in here i'm going to put my sunglasses so all these sunglasses I got from Sunglass Spot. So I have several pair. Um, but Sunglass Spot is really dope. They're like five bucks. Amazing. So I'm gonna, so I'm bringing all these options. Yes, I know, extra, extra, extra. All right, and what I'm also going to put in this book bag are all of my chargers so i have my phone charger my fitbit charger and then i have these charger battery packs and the charger for that i'm gonna stick that up front as well then of course my wallet and then of course i need to have my handy dandy passport so there's a little side pouch here i'm just gonna stick that Whoa down in here all right and then i have these three extra pieces that i wanted to bring that didn't quite fit into my suitcase so i have some space in my personal bag so i'm going to tuck them in the side so i think i have to forego bringing my camera because i don't have a vlogging camera but i do plan to vlog so i'm probably just going to use my cell phone to vlog this trip or to vlog while i'm on this trip because it's taking up a lot of space. If anybody wants to donate to an Ikea getting a vlogging camera, I'll put my cash app below. Doesn't hurt to ask. 
All right, so we're gonna put this down in there first. My little toiletry bag. And then I had these other, I had these two bodysuits and these pants that I took out of my suitcase. They were a little bulky. So I'm just gonna stick those in my bag. And I'm bringing some Ziploc bags like for my bathing suits, just in case anything I need to travel with. And then this is something that I always keep on hand. I actually keep this in my car, but this is just like my emergency bag, just in case my period decides to show up and I'm somewhere. So I just have some extra clean panties in here and some panty liners. So there was one more thing I forgot to mention in my packing. I'm taking two carry-on bags, but inside my carry-on, I'm bringing another bag. And this is just in case I need to check one of my bags. So say I buy something while I'm out of town. So I could essentially take some stuff out of my suitcase and put it in this bag and then put whatever I want to check into that bag. So just to have some extra room. This is just a little small duffel bag that came with that luggage set that matches my carry-on. So I'm just folding that up nice and small and I'm putting that inside of my book bag that's my personal bag that i'm going to be taking on the plane and i also forgot to mention my bras Proper. <laughs> i am bringing bras so the bras that i am bringing i'm just going to stick them in the front my sports bras i'm going to stick them in the front of my suitcase I don't plan on wearing a bra too much. I plan on being in a swimsuit most of the time. <laughs> and some of the clothes that I brought don't require a bra. So I'm going to bring, so a couple of sports bras. I'm going to bring those and just stick those in the front with my underwear. And then my more padded bras. <sighs> don't judge me y'all. I only have nursing bras. It's sad. Um, my more padded bras, I'm just gonna take these and stick them in my personal bag. Yeah, now that's officially everything, everything. <laughs> so that bag is zipped up. It's probably pretty heavy. Yeah. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh man, that's pretty dope. But that is my personal item bag. It's packed full of goodies. So really, just with these two bags, I have everything that I need. I have all my shoes, toiletries, everything that I need for the trip. Yay, I did it! I did it! <laughs> I am ready to jet set and head out of the door. So thank you so much for watching me pack beauties. I'm glad you came along for the ride. Be on the lookout for my Mexico vacation vlog. It might be multiple vlogs coming up that will be vlogging portions of this trip. You know, I do want to enjoy myself, but I will be doing some vlogging so y'all can see all the fun that I had. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed watching this and I hope that it helped you. And I'll be sure to see you in the next one, beauties. Bye. Bye.